Hello, everybody. Good to be with you again. So uh, we've been busy around here. Um, Saturday, uh, we just had the uh, awakening session portion of uh, Skillful Means number three. That went very, very well. And at least the majority of the room woke up. I don't know that I would claim all. I don't know that I can, but I, but I don't know that I can't either. Um, what I can tell you is that regardless, if it's just going to be the same way for you, whether you, however you wake up, is that there's going to be some confusion there at the beginning. There's at the, well, there may be some confusion for some time to come, but there's going to be big confusion at first, probably. Um, it's, there's a, there's an, the understanding with a capital U uh, is sort of coming to understand that there's no understanding this, okay? There's just no understanding this. And I know a lot of you are trying the Brainiac thing. You're trying to figure it out, figure it out. I did it, but only for 24 years. <laughs> it didn't work. And I've been with people who've been uh, 40 and 50 years and uh, they couldn't get past this primary illusion. And so awakening just didn't occur. Now, I'm not saying you have to get past this primary illusion because there are no rules. You can get it. You can have never been a spiritual seeker and get it out of the blue. It happens uh, not commonly, but it's not rare. It's a little uncommon, but it's not rare. I have numerous people who come to me uh, in that, you know, after they've woken up on their own and there's that confusion and this practice deals, um, other than the little first part of it, it deals almost exclusively with post-awakening, which it makes it unusual. And uh, so, they, so they turn here. Um, but in this particular video, I'm going to be talking to that confusion. And I'm also going to be talking to the confusion of pre-awakening. And I want to make sure that before we get too lost in this, that you do understand that I'm talking to awakeness, right? I'm not talking to, uh, I'm not talking to, to, to a, to a Bob or Julie or whatever. This is awakeness talking to awakeness. The difference is, is that over here, there's clarity that that is the case. And over there, there's probably not quite as much clarity. Um, if, they, if, if there is, I hope you enjoy the video anyway. <laughs> so um, the primary illusion is that you think that what I'm talking to is a human being that is having an illusion. You know, we, we've, we've heard that instead of a human being having a human ex, uh, spiritual experience that we are actually spirit having a human experience. And we just love the sound of that, but we don't pay any attention to stuff like that. And I'm telling you that that's a pointer. It's a, and, and it's, and it's really, quite a good one, but like most good pointers, we have found a way to overlook them. The primary illusion has to be overlooked on a continuous basis. And I know that that's, it's difficult to imagine, but it actually takes a great deal of energy to stay asleep because we're confronted with the truth all day long. And so what it amounts to is that as units, as characters, so to speak, not that there is a character, but it'll feel like there is. So we, whatever it is that we are, we enlist denial so that it becomes automatic, so that I'm automatically overlooking the primary illusion. Because this is not Fred's illusion, this is not Fred's experience. This is like, wow, Fred's having quite the, uh, is spotting quite the illusions here. And, and, and even living within an illusion is what Fred's doing. And it's, uh, <clears throat> it feels like there's Fred and there's everything else. And I, gee, I know that's an illusion. <clears throat> but the problem is that the one who knows that there's just, that, that there, it's an illusion that there's me and other is the me. 
and it needs to be the other and not that there is an other. But what I mean is that it doesn't do the character any good to come to recognize, well, I mean, it, it, the character is imaginary, so it cannot possibly come to recognize that the imaginary character is an imaginary character. But that's what we're asking. We're hoping that our imaginary character <clears throat> will get some information so that it can um, come to see that it's an imaginary character. This is insanity. This is, and I participated, I'm not pointing fingers. I participated wholly and fully for 24 years. <clears throat> and then partially for a couple more because awakeness over here, and there was confusion. I didn't have a teacher at the beginning, which is just, I, mean, I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't recommend that you find yourself some teacher too highly. It, it's just, it's, May not be absolutely necessary, but it sure is pleasant. It, it does make things a lot easier. You wanted to fight around for as long as I did, perhaps. And I'm not saying that you that that I need to be your teacher. Uh, if you don't resonate with me very well, then I'm not your teacher. If I do res if you do resonate with me very well, um, then I might be. You'll have to just look into that and decide for yourself. But I'm not really promoting my teaching as much as I am. Uh, teachers, right, in general, <clears throat> because there's a lot of good teachers out there, and they can, and they can help you, they can really help you clear up, however, there are precious to you out there who are really going to help you wake up, and that's just the way it is, it's the, and, and it's the structure of the teaching itself that is the problem, because the structure of the teaching itself sets me up let's just use this one as an example, sets the, the teacher up as the enlightened one. And the enlightened one is here to teach you poor, slow, unenlightened ones how to become enlightened. And I know it feels that way. <clears throat> it projects that way. The teacher's got it, I don't. Well, the primary illusion is that there's a teacher and that there's a you. There is no teacher here. There is teaching, but there's no teacher and there's no student. There's no one doing it and there's no one getting it. They're just teaching. This is a verb. You are a verb. You, if your thinking runs like mine, let me put it that way. If your thinking runs like mine did, then I was an object, <clears throat> meaning that, that, that I thought that there was actually a Fred, as ridiculous as that might seem now. I thought that there was actually a Fred and I thought that this Fred was not awake. And furthermore, my misery came from the fact that I knew that it should be. Now, there was no Fred to begin with. So there was no reason to suspect that a non-entity was going to wake up. But that's the primary illusion. <clears throat> the primary illusion is that you think I'm talking to an individual and I'm not. There is, <clears throat> there's no individual to talk to. There is, there's oneness and, uh, can we add anything to that? There's oneness plus, can we add anything to that? Oh, I don't think we can. <laughs> no, there's oneness and there, there's that which is prior to oneness, but we don't need to get into that here. We need to see through the, the, through, through the illusion of separation. And then we can go dot the I's and cross the T's and have a more complete misunderstanding. I say that because I don't really understand this. And I disappoint people daily because they come to me in the hopes that I'm going to explain this to them. 
And I can't explain to them what I don't understand. I can't explain to you what I don't understand, but I can explain to you how to become as confused as I am. I can't really get you there, but boy, I can take you so close that it's just, just a step away. However, you do have to take that step. I'll be on this side encouraging you to take this, that step. But ultimately, the step has to be taken by, when I say you, it can't be, I can't be talking to a Bob or a Susan or a Carol or a Harry. I'm talking to a whiteness and a whiteness you have to take that final step because there ain't nothing but you. So that we, if we're waiting on something else to take that final step, that something else would have to be outside of oneness if it were going to somehow come to a, 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 a merging with oneness or something. There'd have to be oneness plus, and we don't have a oneness plus. We got oneness, math of one says one equals one. It says it unequivocally, there's no exceptions. One equals one. And the primary illusion <clears throat> is based on this math of one. And <clears throat> I'm telling you this as someone who has been with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people when they woke up. Just pop, 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 pop for the last 10 years. Great, there's my phone. The, uh, so a whiteness, what I want you to understand is that the thing that's trying to understand this is an illusion. So I'm not actually, and, I, and, and it's an impossible illusion. And I'm not asking an illusion to give up an illusion. See, that would be insanity. And I've already gotten over that, at least that level of insanity. I may still be crazy in many, many ways, but I ain't crazy in that way anymore. Very clear in that way. So what I'm saying is that the primary illusion here is you. That's the truth. You're the primary illusion. And when I say this, I'm not pointing at anything other than a whiteness. But it will be, the mind will take this direct pointing from a whiteness to a whiteness and it will convert it into being a Fred that's talking to someone else. And it can't, that's just not possible. There's nobody else. <laughs> <clears throat> and Bob or Carol is over there trying to figure this out. You can't. What you can do is you can give up trying to figure this out. The big leap for me was when I came to see that this is simply not understandable, that I wasn't going to get it because the one who was trying to get it is an imaginary character. The one who, if you think you're an individual and that you're listening to this talk, then that is your primary illusion. Because the truth is you're giving this talk and you're listening to it because there's no one else here to give or receive. There's just, there's actually no giving, there's no receiving, there's just teaching in the air, but no one's doing it, no one's getting it. And, uh, We'll have to talk some other time about what, about what can be gained from it. <laughs> but you want to know who you are. I know you do, because that's why you're here. You're sitting in front of this video because you want to know who you are. You, what I'm trying to help you understand is that Bob over there need not try to understand what Bob is. Unless a whiteness wants to just recognize that there's no Bob. So there's a unit over there. There's a unit here. We are talking about oneness. We are not talking about sameness. These units appear and they, and they, and they appear differently. I would not have married my wife if she was my lookalike. So there is joy in variety. But this variety is all of the very 
same, I'm going to use this word loosely because it's not really accurate, but I'm going to say substance. It's all the same substance in the same way that uh, uh, a, a gold watch and a gold uh, necklace could be melted down and, you know, whatever, come up with a, uh, a gold bracelet or gold ring or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> I have awakened. Um, but it's all gold, no matter what. It's not different. It, it well, excuse me, it's, it's, it's different in the sense that it appears differently, but it's not actually different. The, <clears throat> this pen and this phone appear to be separate. I get that. It's a, it's, a, it's a very helpful illusion. I'm not actually trying to get rid of that because when I look down here, I can't see a pen and a phone if, I'm a, 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 if I am of my right mind. Now, I can be of my right, right mind and take for granted there's a pen and a phone here and a keyboard and a monitor. And that those are, it's all illusory, but it's helpful. So why try to deny that, that things show up differently? What we want to do is notice that there's only one thing that shows up differently. It shows up looking like this. It shows up looking like you. And when it shows up looking like a this and um, it is a seeking unit, not that many are. I mean, a lot of the numbers are big, but the percentages are not big for those of us who are actually interested in the spirituality at the deepest level, which means on an honest level, not on a comfort, make me feel better, give me a grip on the world. Not that I'm, uh, I'm against any of those things and all of those things might be found here, but the real core mission is to simply become honest with ourselves. Honesty is the real mission here. Uh, honesty and earnestness, as Nezugadatta would have said. Earnestness, meaning the, the, the stick-to-itiveness, the persistence to confront this illusion over and over again and to question it over and over again. Because we don't. We confront the illusion at every moment. And we will question it when we read our first non-dual book. And we will read it, question it when we read our last non-dual book. Or I like go to our last retreat. Or, get, or, or watch this present video. But we will not pursue it. We will have glimpses. And then we deny those glimpses right afterwards, don't we? God almighty, that was unbelievable. Did that really happen? Huh. I guess that happened. I guess, well, yeah, sure, that happened. It happened to me. That's separate from oneness. Nothing can have the oneness experience. That's what everybody comes to me and they wanna have that oneness experience. When you are oneness to begin with, then that only points to the fact that this is the oneness experience, yeah? And it, that seems very peculiar, I understand that. Because we've all heard about the non, big non-dual shift. Well, the shift is not on, for the character. Fred never got a big non-dual shift. When a non-dual shift occurred, there was notice that there was no Fred. So there's no Fred talking to you now, and there's no you listening to this. There's just it. We call it us if we want, but then we're using a plural to define something that's singular. Everybody wants their own, Bob wants Bob to wake up and I completely get it. It is, it is just maddening until it's not. 
But what I'm here to do is to discourage Bob from wanting Bob to wake up and for me to try to reach myself over there, which is what I do with in every session that I hold, whether it's private or public, is that I'm always trying to get me to recognize myself through the units, quote, over there. There's no over there, over there, but visually, relatively, there's an over there, over there. And I'm trying to get what is visually, apparently, um, over there. Uh, I'm trying to get awakeness to see through the idea that it is a body, and that is just hell on one wheels, isn't it? But you have heard many, many, many times that, uh, that there's just one thing going on. So since there is just one going, thing going on, I mean, it, there can't be two things where one is hoping to catch on to the other. There's one thing going on, that means there's one thing going on. One, which means this, just over here, this is you. That over there, that's you. Or it's me, I could say. We can all say that there's, there's, we can all say that there's, there's me and only me. But we don't know what we're referring to when we say that. What we really think we usually re think we're referring to is a body. And I want to tell you, and if you don't believe it, you can try it yourself in a, in, uh, in a skillful means session. But I can take almost anybody and help them, anybody that really wants to know, I can help them come to face to face and actually experience that they are not the body just as they have been told ever since they entered non-duality. I can actually prove that because the thing is we're trying to think that. We're trying to think this thing out. It can't be thought out. I've had every kind of brainiac in this world, philosophy professors, uh, physicists, professors, physicians, everybody, everybody. I mean, just, just people with brains up to here, right? I mean, much smarter than I am. But this, that much smarter than I am, I mean, hell, I, I was even too smart, right? And uh, you may not have a, a, a gush over the intelligence here, but it was too much intelligence over here because it was trying to figure this out. It was trying to understand this. Okay, try to understand this. This is it. <laughs> Let me see. Let me go over that again slowly. This is it. Now, those are really simple words, and that's a really simple sentence. Where is all the confusion? See, but what you think is that there is that this is it for me. This is this is it that I am experiencing. But if this is it, what else could actually come to understand that this is it? When this is it, there's no other to come to understand that. There's, there's, there's no me that's going to finally get the big non-dual shift. Hell, I don't know how you're going to shift to non-duality. This is non-duality. <laughs> there's only non-duality, hence the term non-duality. Non-duality meaning not two or not more than, you know, not two. And I use the word oneness because it's a convenient term. It's not really accurate because that indicates that there's one something. I can't find the one something. I noticed that there is one nothing. And I noticed that I am that nothingness, which doesn't mean that there's not uh, I can't tell you that I'm not alive. I can't tell you that I'm not alert. I can't tell you that I'm not aware. And I can't tell you that I'm not awake. But when I tell you that, it's not a Fred Davis talking. 
It really isn't. It's oneness describing itself. Oneness doesn't need to wake up. The only thing oneness needs to wake up to is the fact that it's been believing a manufactured illusion ever since it was a baby. Not when it arrived, when the infant arrived, there was what? There was only when that infant comes out the birth canal and looks around, there's what? There is an experience of it's oneness experiencing oneness without even oneness knowing it. Yes. It's just awe and wonder. It's just, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Everything's new. Nothing's taken for granted. It just, everything is just, everything is just, it's, and, and there's no two, there's not two of anything. There's just whatever the hell this is. See, the baby knows. It doesn't know what in the hell this is. And the baby never comes to know what the hell this is. And that's a grown-up baby I'm talking to. Go back to where you were to begin with when you were an infant. When you were an infant, you couldn't find duality. There was just you didn't even have a word for duality or non-duality. There was just experiencing. See, now you think there's a, uh, there's a Bob experiencing or a, uh, an Alice experiencing. There's no Bob or Alice that's experiencing anything. Awakeness is experiencing a self-concocted illusion it's just a game you play with yourself. I can't imagine why, but I can't also can't see why not. <sighs> the primary illusion is you. The thing that I'm pointing at right now is myself, but you think I'm pointing to something separate, to something other than, quote, me. But there ain't nothing other than me, and you can say the same thing. What's pointing at you is you right now. The primary illusion is you and just notice that in, in, in the construct of the dream, there appears to be a character pointing at another character, but there's no character here. There's no character. There's no character. There's no Fred, there's no Bob, there's no Alice, there's no whatever. So what is it that comes to recognize the truth if it ain't old Fred? It's awakeness. Awakeness comes to realize the truth of itself. Hence the term realization. <laughs> See, it didn't say anything. Notice that realization doesn't have anything to do about shifting. There's a shift of perception It's not, there's not a shift of perception for Fred or Bob or, 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 or Betsy. There's a shift of perception for oneness. It's oneness that experiences the shift. And the mind will translate that almost immediately and say, Bob had his awakening. I can't believe it. 1992, I had an awakening and it was like, and I had, and it was, the truth was there and I was knowing it and I was just glorified in it. I knew what was going on. I was for things, or there was just this. And actually, I didn't know what was going on. There was just the awakening. But as the grandeur of that calmed down, because I just was so far away that I could not have a, a, a grand thing. It's a, it's, you already can see it's an egoic clown anyway. So, but as that went, Suddenly it was Fred that had the awakening. The unit had had the awakening. This meat had had the awakening. Go in and if uh, you may be vegetarian, so God bless. But if you're not, go open your freezer and look at a, a pack of hamburger, if you will, and yell at it to wake up. <laughs> Or you can go, to, you go, go find another human being and yell at it to wake up. Yell at that meat to wake up. 
Meat doesn't wake up. Awakeness wakes up. The primary illusion is that there's something other than awakeness that will come to awaken to awakeness the thing that I just can't get. That's it. I can help lead you there. I can help point you there. I can get you very, very close. But notice that even in a video this, like this, which I think has been a pretty good one, is I can't make you wake up. There has to be the willingness to be, to, to, to live as a wakeness. There has to be the willingness to live as peace and not in peace. It's not about the character's experience. It's about the lack of a character. All of this is oneness's experience. And oneness can believe that it is this body or some other body or all bodies, whatever. Oneness, I guess, is just a damn fool because it can believe anything or not believe anything. This has got to be oneness talking to you. And I don't. You know, I don't have, I don't really know anything. I'm no better than Socrates. All I know is that the man who knows he does not, nothing has got a leg up on everybody else. So what I'm trying to do, that's why they call this the unteaching, is I'm trying to unteach you what you know. You want to add something to the character, and there is no character to add to. So this is an unteaching going through the back door straight to myself, awakeness to awakeness, and telling you awakeness there's nothing other than you that can wake up, which means the thing that's hearing this voice, that's you. The thing that's making this noise, that's you. The noise itself, that's you. There's nothing outside or other than. There's just you. Well, it's nice to be back at the wheel after a little time off. So uh, I'm gonna, there's stuff on the website about um, skillful means number four, which will be in over three Saturdays in um, May. And we'd love to have you with us on 24 to a class. And um, I'm going to have a new book out later this year. And um, I'll be talking to you about that. There's a lot going on. At any rate, um, but there's nothing going on at the same time. See, paradox is the key in non-duality. you got to become comfortable with paradox. The black and white thing is not going to do it for you. The this or that thing is not going to do it for you. It's both and. Both and. Okay. I love you. Take care of me over there. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.